Hello and welcome to this service of Holy Communion for the ninth Sunday after Trinity from Corston Parish Church. You're very welcome with us this morning and as our service progresses, please do join in with all the words that appear in bold type on your screen and especially with our hymns. And in fact, we begin our service by singing together. Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you and also with you. We say together, Almighty God, to whom all hearts are open, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hidden, cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name through Christ our Lord. Amen. God so loved the world that he gave his only Son, Jesus Christ, to save us from our sins, to be our advocate in heaven, and to bring us to eternal life. Let us confess our sins in penitence and faith, firmly resolved to keep God's commandments and to live in love and peace with all. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, we have sinned against you and against our neighbour in thought and word and deed, through negligence, through weakness, through our own deliberate fault. We are truly sorry and repent of all our sins. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, who died for us, forgive us all that is past and grant that we may serve you in newness of life to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, who forgives all who truly repent, have mercy upon you, pardon and deliver you from all your sins, confirm and strengthen you in all goodness, and keep you in life eternal, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen.
Let us pray. Almighty God, who sent your Holy Spirit to be the life and light of your church, open our hearts to the riches of your grace, that we may bring forth the fruit of the Spirit in love and joy and peace. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. A reading from the book of Exodus, chapter 16. The whole congregation of the Israelites complained against Moses and Aaron in the wilderness. The Israelites said to them, If only we had died by the hand of the Lord in the land of Egypt, when we sat by the flesh pots and ate our fill of bread. For you have brought us out into this wilderness to kill the whole assembly with hunger. Then the Lord said to Moses, I am going to rain bread from heaven for you, and each day the people shall go out and gather enough for that day. In that way I will test them, whether they will follow my instruction or not. I have heard the complaining of the Israelites. Say to them, At twilight you shall eat meat, and in the morning you shall have your fill of bread. Then you shall know that I am the Lord your God. In the evening the quails came up and covered the camp, and in the morning there was a layer of dew around the camp. When the layer of dew lifted, there, on the surface of the wilderness, was a fine flaky substance, as fine as frost on the ground. When the Israelites saw it, they said to one another, what is it? For they did not know what it was. Mm. Moses said to them, It is the bread that the Lord has given you to eat. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The reading is from Ephesians 4. I urge you then, I who am a prisoner because I serve the Lord, Live a life that measures up to the standard God set when he called you. Be always humble, gentle and patient. Show your love by being tolerant with one another. Do your best to preserve the unity which the Spirit gives by means of the peace that binds you together. There is one body and one Spirit, just as there is one hope to which God has called you. There is one Lord, one faith, one baptism. There is one God and Father of all mankind, who is Lord of all, works through all, and is in all. Each one of us has received a special gift in proportion to what Christ has given. As the scripture says, when he went up to the very heights, he took many captives with him. He gave gifts to mankind. Now what does he went up mean? It means that first he came down to the lowest depths of the earth. So the one who came down is the same one who went up above and beyond the heavens to fill the whole universe with his presence. It was he who gave gifts to mankind. He appointed some to be apostles, others to be prophets, others to be evangelists, others to be pastors and teachers. He did this to prepare all God's people for the work of Christian service in order to build up the body of Christ. And so we shall all come together to that oneness in our faith and in our knowledge of the Son of God. We shall become mature people, reaching to the very height of Christ's full stature. Then, we, then we shall no longer be children, carried by the waves and blown about by every shifting wind of the teaching of deceitful men who lead others into error by the tricks they invent. Instead, by speaking the truth in a spirit of love, we must grow up in every way to Christ, who is the head. Under his control, all the different parts of the body fit together, and the whole body is held together by every joint with which it is provided. So when each separate part works as it should, the whole body grows and builds itself up through love. 
This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord Jesus Christ, according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. So when the crowd saw that neither Jesus nor his disciples were there, they themselves got into the boats and went to Capernaum, looking for Jesus. When they found him on the other side of the lake, they said to him, Rabbi, when did you come here? Jesus answered them, Very truly I tell you, you were looking for me not because you saw signs, but because you ate your fill of the loaves. Do not work for the food that perishes, but for the food that endures for eternal life, which the Son of Man will give you. For it is on him that God the Father has set his seal. Then they said to him, What must we do to perform the works of God? Jesus answered them, This is the work of God, that you believe in him whom he has sent. So they said to him, What sign are you going to give us then, so that we may see it and believe you? What work are you performing? Our ancestors ate the manna in the wilderness. As it is written, he gave them bread from heaven to eat. Then Jesus said to them, Very truly I tell you, it was not Moses who gave you the bread from heaven, but it is my Father who gives you the true bread from heaven. For the bread of God is that which comes down from heaven and gives life to the world. They said to him, 
Sir, give us this bread always. Jesus said to them, I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me will never be hungry, and whoever believes in me will never be thirsty. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. We declare our faith by saying together, We believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, of one being with the Father, through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, was incarnate from the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary, and was made man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. On the third day he rose again in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy, Catholic and apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Let us pray. Dear Lord God, you give us true bread that comes from heaven, your Son, our Saviour Jesus Christ. Grant that we may receive him into our lives and be filled with the wonderful fullness of his love and abide with him as he abides with us. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray, Lord, for our bishops, Graham, Alan and Jane and for all who minister to us, lay or ordained, during these challenging times. We thank you for all that they have done to continue worship and bring comfort through novel means. May your church be seen to be working for justice and righteousness, for liberty and peace. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Dear Lord, this is a joyous time for many as some large entertainment and sporting gatherings recommence, and for our children as the school holidays begin. As we give you thanks for these pleasures, we pray that the Holy Spirit may lead us always to remember and respect the safety of others, particularly while the threat from COVID remains. We pray for Elizabeth, our Queen, and all who govern under her, Grant those in government compassion and understanding that they may act wisely to protect us. We remember before you those in this country and abroad living in areas where high infection rates threaten and have necessitated greater restrictions upon their lives. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray at this time of extreme weather events that we are able to do everything possible to reduce the harm we inflict on your world through climate change. We give you thanks, Lord, for our community here in Causton. Help us to love our neighbours and give to them as we have received from you. We pray for refugees and the victims of hatred and conflict. Help us to remember that we are all created in your image, no matter the colour of our skin. May the Spirit move those who cannot accept or understand this to rid themselves of prejudice and hatred. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We ask your blessing, Lord, on all those passing through illness, whether in mind or body. Grant them the comfort and strength of your presence. Bless also, Lord, all those in the caring and medical professions and grant them the power of your healing spirit. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. As we wait for your coming in glory, 
we pray for all those who have passed into the fullness of your kingdom. We give you thanks for Agnes and all your saints in glory, for our benefactors who have gone before us. We pray for all our loved ones now departed. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour Jesus Christ. Amen. Christ is our peace. He has reconciled us to God in one body by the cross. We meet in his name and we share his peace. The peace of the Lord be always with you and also with you. Let us offer one another a sign of peace. the greatness, the power, the glory, the splendor, and the majesty for everything in heaven and on earth is yours. All things come from you, and of your own do we give you. The Lord is here. His Spirit is with us. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. 
Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give thanks and praise. Father, we give you thanks and praise through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your living Word, through whom you have created all things, who was sent by you in your great goodness to be our Saviour. By the power of the Holy Spirit, he took flesh as your Son, born of the Blessed Virgin. He lived on earth and went about among us. He opened wide his arms for us on the cross. He put an end to death by dying for us and revealed the resurrection by rising to new life. So he fulfilled your will and won for you a holy people. Therefore, with angels and archangels and with all the company of heaven, we proclaim your great and glorious name, forever praising you and singing. you are holy indeed, the source of all holiness. Grant that by the power of your Holy Spirit and according to your holy will, these gifts of bread and wine may be to us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, who in the same night that he was betrayed took bread and gave you thanks. He broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take, eat, this is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, after supper, he took the cup and gave you thanks. He gave it to them, saying, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it, in remembrance of me. Great is the mystery of faith. Christ has died. Christ is risen. Christ will come again. And so, Father, calling to mind his death on the cross, his perfect sacrifice made once for the sins of the whole world, rejoicing in his mighty resurrection and glorious ascension, and looking for his coming in glory, we celebrate this memorial of our redemption. As we offer you this, our sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving, we bring before you this bread and this cup, and we thank you for counting us worthy to stand in your presence and serve you. Send the Holy Spirit on your people and gather into one in your kingdom all who share this one bread and one cup, so that we in the company of all the saints may praise and glorify you forever through Jesus Christ our Lord, by whom and with whom and in whom, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honour and glory be yours, almighty Father, forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray with confidence as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Every time we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim the Lord's death until he comes.
Jesus is the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are those who are called to his supper. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word and I shall be healed. Body of Christ. Blood of Christ. Let us pray. 
Holy Father, who gathered us here around the table of your Son to share this meal with the whole household of God, in that new world where you reveal the fullness of your peace, gather people of every race and language to share in the eternal banquet of Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. of God which passes all understanding. Keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of his Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you always. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. In the name of Christ. Amen. <laughs>